Hey, welcome back to this journey. Well, I'm Keisha and today I'm just going to show you how I did the heart shaped braids in my own hair. So if that's something that you're interested in, go ahead and click the like button. And if you're new, you know, when you finish watching the video, you can go through the channel. And if you see anything that you like, you can go ahead and subscribe. But <laughs> yeah, if you're interested to see how I did these heart shaped braids in my own hair, then yeah, this is not a braid tutorial, like how to braid your hair. If you already know how to braid your hair, then this will just be a guide as to how to do this style. Um, I did look at a video on YouTube, um, which helped me a bit just to show um, how to pass the hair. Um, mainly, I see this style, people do it on just the two sides or maybe one side of their hair. But while I was doing my hair, I decided to do <laughs> one in the middle as well and of course with braiding with anything you can be creative make it your own you can do all in heart it heart shapes if you want it but yeah if you're interested to see how i did it myself then continue watching okay so the first thing i do is try to determine the size of the path that i want i was aiming for about five to six braids on my head so i just got the path the width good first and then i started to try to shape out the shape of my heart so what i did was make the curve on one side and then try to make it even on the other side y'all let me tell you my eyes were hurting trying to look to the side of my head like that <laughs> i was starting to feel dizzy i don't know what i was feeling <laughs> anyway to make the cane row, you make a diagonal path through the one of the sections that you make and you start to plait it now the hand orientation might take some getting used to but however you feel comfortable making a proper cane row from that angle you can go ahead and do it and loop it to the top and connect it so i think at that point i was feeling happy with it and then we try to do it on the other side now what you have to try to do is make the angle of the path on the other side the same um angle direction like well clearly direction but at least the same angle so it looks symmetrical unless you're going for asymmetrical hearts but yeah i'm just putting some edge control just to smooth it down a bit and going in again now this side was a bit easier because the hand orientation wasn't so bad as i could feel can in someone's hair and go ahead to the top and bring it back around boom <laughs> a little hot <laughs> right so i was just putting it together to see how it looked and i liked it so then i went ahead and um connected the front and the back and there so while i was a little happy with how it came out i was not 100 percent happy as you were not seeing the heart shape itself so i went back in took it out and i took out the part to make it a heart so there you could see i did that v so that you could see a heart shape more prominently and i added it to the extra braid to the other side anyway going on to the second part again making the path i feel comfortable with how thick it would be and i'm putting in the extra hair from my hair and as you can see y'all i was using my phone as <laughs> a mirror to see the back of my hair to see if my path was straight and i did the feed-in method to do my hair now i was thinking because when one because my head is big i had to do more um canaries than usual I said I decided to put in a heart in the middle so again I just made the shape of a heart and the extra hair in front I said I would add it to another camera so there you see me plaiting it and putting it out of the way and again making the heart here with this one Yeah, trying to make sure it's a little even and going ahead, um, smoothing it out with some edge control. 
Um, for this, because the center of my hair there is so thick, I did not put any extensions um, in my hair for this, for these hearts. I don't think I put any extensions in the hearts. I only put some of them through the length of the plait, um, just for some length. Then once I finished that one, I went ahead and moved to the other side to do the heart. And again, trying to get that path, trying to get a heart, a symmetrical heart. And while it's just sped up, y'all uh, can see how relatively slow I'm going. <laughs> Um, so yeah, sectioning that out of the way and y'all, my memory card got full during filming. So I didn't get to finish filming everything that I did, but the main thing was just to see how I did the hearts. Here you have it, the complete look, y'all. Despite my not so straight parts, I was really happy with how it came out. Um, as you, well, you may be able to see that I went back in in certain areas just to fix the parts that I didn't like too much, 100%. But for the first time trying it on myself, I was pretty happy with the results. So I really, really like how my hair came out. Um, like, I didn't think it would look like 100% but i'm really happy with how it came out um i had my little ocd where i found like this braid had way too much um hair in it uh so i had to take it out and do it over um when i started the video i put this side going this way but i changed it to come this way um so yeah after i finished the little ocd i changed it up but overall um I'm, I think it could have been a little neater, but overall, I'm happy with how it came out. Um, as I mentioned, my battery did die, so I didn't get the entire process. But from the video, you would have seen the gist of it and the most important parts, um, how to shape the heart. I think this is the best one. This one came out the best. This one, it's a little stylistic, I guess. Um, and this one, <laughs> whatever. Um, Jabari, you know, he's the worst. He was like, um, so he likes this one as well. He was like, this one looking like, um, the Medusa snakes fighting each other. You think I could take him on? <laughs> anyway, if you made it this far in the video, go ahead and comment a little heart below. Just in order of the style. But anyway, um, I hope that you enjoyed the video and if you came to learn to how, um, learn how to do it, I hope that when you try it, tag me on Instagram at semi-antistish if you want to post it. But anyway, <laughs> thank you guys for watching and until next time, bye!